Hello, and hello, and welcome to the channel, and welcome to King of Seas. This is a naval action RPG wherein we take the role of a pirate. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this, because I think I am. Uh, I've been looking forward to this game for a little while now, and uh, anyway, let's get into this. Enough uh, lollygagging around here. So what do we have as far as difficulties here? Ships boy, or yeah, ships boy, gunner, captain, corsair, and king of seas. I like the little progression on the difficulty for uh, the little picture in the background there. But anyway, <clears throat> okay, ships boy for novices who want to enjoy the gaming experience without too much worries. Bonus for cannon damage and abilities, health point bonus, bonus calculation for bounties. If your ship sinks, your inventory won't be lost. Gunner, for new sailors who want a more challenging game, this experience is recommended for most players. Okay. Inventory won't be lost. Bonus calculation of 150%. And captain. Ah, for more talented captains who want to enjoy a more exciting adventure in a sea of challenges. Bounty calculation bonus, 200%. You lose the ship if it was bought and you will have to recover your equipment interesting so i wonder if that means like going to where your ship originally sank but anyway we'll be playing on gunner and uh hopefully that'll work out so we've got two choices here for characters we've got uh lukey lucky I, I i i don't know what they were going for when they meant that but probably lukey i don't know and mary lou so you can have you can be the the son of the king of seas or the daughter of the king of seas we'll go ahead and go with uh with Lucky here, and we'll do that. Lucky is the son of the King of Seas. Bored with his life at court, Lucky secretly trains to use a pistol. Bold and brave, at the age of six, he set fire to the royal kitchens while playing with gunpowder. Everyone at court seems to turn a blind eye to his little mischiefs. He's the king's son, after all. Let's do this. Uh, yep, up to three profiles. That's always good to see in games when they give you multiple profiles, especially for a game like this. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's get into this. This will be the first time that I have, uh, played this. It's, uh, the night of the 24th, 9 p.m., when the, the game began, went live. In the middle of the ocean, many years ago, within the crystal clear waters and green archipelagos, where communities of ancient Navy sailors traded, surrounded by thousands of dangers. At that time... Pirate law was in force on the Seven Seas, and shamans shaped the world with fearsome voodoo rituals. But a bloody battle changed fate forever. The fight between pirates and Navy sailors inflamed the sky for endless days and nights. In the end, the sailors prevailed, decimating the last traces of magic and freeing the sea from the threat of pirates. After the battle, the triumphant navy erected an impenetrable fortress, founding the 800 years old kingdom of the Seven Seas and vowing to maintain the conquered peace forever. Those few pirates who didn't bow to the will of the navy fled to the borders of the kingdom remaining faithful to their way of life. Today, seated on the throne, the descendant of a long line of rulers carefully guards the peace within the fortress. Long live the king. Long live the kingdom of the Seven Seas. was uh, a <clears throat> much more exciting opening than I thought I was going to see. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this place. Fancy. Captain Henry, Supreme Admiral Byrne, the ship is ready for departure. We are waiting for the captain to arrive. 
Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> it won't happen again. Lucky, you spent the night out again, didn't you? At last, the day of your departure has arrived. Your father, King Alexander, has high expectations for you. We must not disappoint him. Everything's ready for your trip, Captain. The crew is already waiting for you on the ship. Thanks, Bartholomew. I hope to be up to the challenge. On your return, there will be a ceremony to celebrate your coming of age. Starting from tomorrow, you will begin to put my teachings into practice and participate in court decisions. A new life awaits you. I look forward to your return, Lucky. Bon voyage, little brother. I'll be back soon, Mary Lou. Captain, let me remind you of your mission. You must deliver a shipment of gunpowder to a port nearby. The journey won't take long, and the route is so safe that there will be no need to arm the ship. You'll also have the Royal Navy First Mate Robert by your side. Good luck, Lucky. At your orders, Captain. As your first mate, I can assure you that, that we will reach our destination in time for tea. Anchors away. Lovely. So that's how most of the story is going to go. Reading. So, Captain, let me remind you of some basic sailing techniques. L to turn, R1 to open three sails one at a time, L1 to close one sail at a time, zoom in, zoom out. Got it. Okay. Ship has some real weight to it. I dig it. How high can we zoom in? Oh, okay. So there's three levels of zoom. It's not too bad. Captain, you must open the map to find the route. R3. Ahoy! I'm the cartographer of this beautiful map. Let me explain how it works. See the red icon? That's the position of your target. If you follow it, you'll never get lost. Don't be surprised if the map is incomplete. It's up to the captain to complete it during their adventures. Understood. We can zoom in on the map. View the factions, do all that. We don't have any treasure maps, but yeah. During your adventure, you will find treasure maps to search for fantastic chests full of rarities. Once you have located the correct island, just look for the treasure marked with an X. This is where you'll find the maps to search for the treasures during your voyages at sea. Good luck. Wonderful. Let us continue. So we're pretty much just uh, heading east. From what I could tell, yeah, a little bit northeast, really. Oh, I like how you can see the... Uh, the sails and how they work. That's pretty cool. I like it. Remember that it can affect your ship's speed? I'm talking about the wind and all that. You can see the directionality of the wind via the compass. So, let's talk a little bit about the map and the world that this takes place in. Um, as far as I can tell, it is procedurally generated, or at least randomly generated, for the most part. Um, every time you play, there will be differences on your little map and whatnot. Uh, captain to captain, um, it's the same. So, like, if you if you sink your ship or, or whatever, uh, your map's going to stay the same. But um, as you progress, um, you'll unlock more. But, oh, jeez. <sighs> ran into that other ship. What a surprise. I am honored that the king has sent you to make this very urgent delivery of gunpowder. Go to the port un to unload it. On behalf of my village, I thank you immensely. Well done, Captain. We can consider our first mission accomplished. We will leave for King's Fortress tomorrow at dawn. Lovely. Now, I would imagine that a lot of people that are probably interested in this game, um, they've probably already seen this opening a number of times. It's been up on YouTube for a while now. Oh my. I thought all the magic was conquered. I guess 800 years wasn't long enough. What's going on? What's all this bustle about? The king! They found him on the throne! 
dead. What? Who killed him? The healer said he was killed by a spell. They found a voodoo circle in the basement. The Court of Seas has been summoned for an emergency meeting. Oh my. Dad's dead. Oh man, we've kept the ship <laughs> pinned here. It's time to get back to base. We'll be there just in time for your celebration. Will do. Let's try not to hit any ships on the way out of here. So there's multiple uh, health bars. If you look in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see there's a blue health bar, a red health bar, and a yellow health bar. Those uh, signify different uh, aspects of our ship. Blue is sails. Red is our hull. And yellow is our crew. Uh, if certain health bars and whatnot become damaged, they'll affect certain aspects of your ship. Like uh, your travel speed, uh, your life, stuff like that. But, uh, yeah. Oh. Oh, look, they brought us a welcome. How nice. Captain Henry, what brings you here? You can't escape, Lucky. The whole capital knows what you've done. You will pay for your crime. What are you talking about? A witness saw your ship returning to the fortress from the side entrance when it should have been en route to the mission. You have no excuse. That's impossible. We never went back to King's Fortress after we left. You continue to deny. I hereby officially announce that the Court of the Seas imposes a sentence against you for cowardly murdering King Alexander. What? My father? Crew, take cover! We're about to get John wicked. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We just got terminated. Sorry, not Terminator. Robocop. We just got Robocopped. <laughs> the enemy is down, Captain. There was nothing left of Lucky nor the ship. Today is a sad day for the Kingdom of Seas. Our duty is done. Let's report back to base. Head to the capital. Roll credits. Game over. All right. See you later, guys. Thanks for what? No, I'm just joking. Anyway. We found the heir to the throne, Captain. Alive. Lucky only fainted. Head straight to the Eagle's Den. We'll be safe there. That's your orders. I'll head quickly to my lab. We'll need healing ointments. Nice little dinghy there. <laughs> Eagle's Den, year 832 AF. I'm going to probably shoot for around an hour for this first episode. That'll hopefully get us past a lot of the tutorial and get us into the, the game. Because I know, like, the first half hour of the game is just tutorials and a lot of reading and all that stuff, so... Either way. What a cute little ship. Six cannons. Three on either side. At last! You took your time waking up. Here, take this ointment for your burns. I burned three vials in the ship's boy's mustache to make it, so don't waste it all. Here comes the captain. I'm Captain D. Morgan. It's a pleasure to meet the former successor to the King of Seas. Your ship sank and your crew is nowhere to be found. You're lucky we saw you. Otherwise, you'd be at the bottom of the sea by now. Uh, but you're a, a pirate. Why did you save me? The Code of the Seas dictates that all castaways, regardless of flag, must be rescued. Besides, I'm in debt to your father. So, what will become of me now? In your current situation, you can't allow the Royal Navy to find you. They'd execute you on the spot. Luckily, they think you're already dead. This is the farthest reach of the kingdom, and just like us here, you are officially a pirate. My father is dead, and they suspect me. Yes, Lucky. And you'll have to find out who, who did it. There's still a death sentence hanging on your head. Grim opening, to say the least. Yeah, I'm much better now. What is this place? This is Eagle's Din, the birthplace of the Kingdom of Seas. The Royal Navy abandoned it centuries ago, and it hasn't been marked on any map for hundreds of years. 
Ironically, it's now the only pirate base left in the world, and the safest place for us outcasts. Welcome among the last pirates to sail these waters. I hope you have enough guts to take on your new life. <laughs> My new life? I never imagined that coming of age would be like this. At least he's still got his pistol. Emergency on the horizon, Captain. With my Turbo-Nocular 3000, I spotted a Royal Navy ship moving in our direction. All of our captains are on a mission, and there's no one else who can intervene. Never a moment's rest, huh? We cannot allow the Royal Navy to discover our base. Luckily, there's a captain without a ship right here. Lucky, take command of this sloop. You'll become its captain if you sink that scout ship. I'm surely gonna need a ship to get back to the capital. I accept the challenge. Our first battle. Change bullets, they can damage whole crew or sails. Uh, left to start and stop repairs when the ship is stopped and out of combat. Uh, L2, R2 to shoot, let's do this. Full sails. Okay, there's our little pirate hunter. Ha sucker. Slow down and get her, get her done. <laughs> there we go. I don't know if that was our hit or theirs that got him, but I'd like to think that was ours. Lucky, can you hear me? I've installed a nautical communicator on your helm so we can talk for miles away. Everybody has one of these nowadays. The Royal Scientific Community has made some real progress lately. How do you use this contraption, Leroy? Lucky, can you hear me? Uh, what can I say? You did pretty well. You've earned your position as captain on that ship. Yeah, considering they... I don't even know if they shot once. <laughs> the sloop, which boasts three guns on each side, is an agile and light sailing ship. It will be easy to handle it into combat and outflank your enemy. Watch out for multiple ship battles. You may find yourself in trouble. Cute little sloop. Maybe you truly have the guts to tackle what lies ahead. But I'm not a pirate. I must go back to the capital to prove my innocence and find out the reason for this plot. Hold your cannonballs. You can't go back to King's Fortress considering the circumstances. Right now, our captains are making their way across the Seven Seas, seeking information. Patience. Unless we know more, we can't afford to make any false moves. In the meantime, you could start paying off your debt by helping with our shopping list. Shopping list? Not a bad idea, Leroy. There are some matters you could help us with. We accepted to do some work for a carpenter of the merchant company not long ago. The port is near. The job is to deliver a load of wood. The merchant company? My ship flies a pirate flag. Won't I be in danger? The merchant company tolerates pirates, unlike the Royal Navy. As long as we're peaceful, we can trade with their ports, and sometimes they even hire us to get them out of trouble. Go to the market at Eagle's Den and buy some wood. You'll find it once you're docked in the harbor. Okay. Just gotta head on back, then. Maybe I was going too fast. There we go. Okay, so we've got a few choices here. Tavern, market, bank, carpenter, and raise the anchor. And we don't have access to Cove yet. I've never seen you around here. I'm the carpenter, and my job is to polish and refurbish your ships and treat them as they deserve. You pirates always mistreat these beauties. Whenever you need to change your ship or want to buy new equipment, come visit me. Thanks, Zack. Uh, we'll repair the ship from the little bit of damage we took. I do have some gold. Is there anything? It does have some cannons. Uh, 
Uh, and he does have other sales. I don't know if it would be worth it to buy these right now, though. Various other ships. Alright. Bank. What's up with that? Oh, a new customer. Welcome to the Bonobo Beast Bank. No matter if you're a noble, a boy, or a baboon, the bank will always be at your service. Here, you can move your items from your inventory to our very safe burglar-proof chests. You can collect them in any bank and wherever you want. Could stay. Nice. Well, I don't really have anything to turn in here, so that's fine. Let's check out the market. Never seen you around here before. I'm Ed, and this is my market. I know exactly what adventurers like you are searching for. You want all kinds of goods to sell and trade across the Seven Seas. You'll become a very rich pirate if you start trading business. Take my word for it. Okay, so they've got the... Prices going up, prices going down, prices neutral, so on and so forth. We need wood. Here we go. I think it was ten... Ten pieces of wood there. Uh, is there anything else? Uh, port produces a large amount of rum... Okay, so we could actually get rum for a decent price here and maybe sell it later. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's grab some. We got a little bit of gold. Let's uh, let's get 15 units of rum from there. Um, we'll hold off on everything else. If we could find some repair kits to sell extra, then that would be nice. But I'm not going to worry too much about that. How about the tavern. Ah, recruiting crew. Never seen your face around before. This is my tavern, and I don't want any fights in here. Let me tell you what you can do. Recruit new crew members. Let me know about the latest gossip and get new jobs from the island's inhabitants. All clear? Clear to me. Uh, my crew is complete. Don't need to worry about that. Notice board. We've got some quests here. Paranoid and bad customers. Rob the merchant needs a real pirate to help him sink a merchant ship. Ed the merchant needs a real pirate to help him sink a Royal Navy captain ship. Let's not. Um, I mean, they're they're all level three quests, so I don't know. Let's let's accept this one for now. I feel like someone's following me. Did you happen to see a merchant ship around? He followed me here. I know it. I'm not safe anywhere. How I wish I weren't the most talented merchant in all the seven seas. I would have never believed I would attract so much envy. You're a pirate. You should be good at sinking ships, right? I'll give you a proper reward. Please, make them disappear. Got it. Murder them all. Understood. Uh, that'll do for now. Um, guess we're good. Raise the anchor. Okay. Okay, you've collected quite a few quests in your logbook. Let's see here. We've got main quests and side quests. This is your logbook. To change the mission you're following or see which ones you've already accepted, this is the place to go. To make the mission's objective appear on the screen, just press Select. The location of the target will be automatically indicated on your map. Nice. So where, uh... Where's this guy at? Oh, cool. We can access our, our map from here. That's good. It's actually pretty close to us. And that one's a bit north. This one's pretty close. Let's go for, uh, Paranoid first. Oh, Talents. This is the Talents page, Lucky. You'll find all sorts of talents here. Your available points are shown at the bottom left corner. The price of the talents you want will appear at the bottom right corner. Some talents can be upgraded up to five times to get the most out of the skill. We do not have any points. Okay. Not too bad. We won't worry about that. For now, let's go. Ooh. I'm gonna hit too many people. Okay, so our current quest... Is just west of here. Okay, so cannonballs are for the hull. These guys, I think, are for the mast. For the sails. And I think this is for crew. Yeah, I think that's for crew. I like the sound. The sound is pretty good. See that school of fish, Captain? heard there's a restaurant willing to pay gold for them. And we'll look into that a little bit later, shall we? Explosive barrel. Oh, 
Oh my. Whoa. Took a little bit of hits there. Oh wow, they're getting messed up. Ooh, wrong way. Haha. <laughs> And they're done. <laughs> yeah, they kind of skimmed us there a little bit. You finally found an item to equip to your ship. You could pick it up and see in your inventory. Okay, what do we got? Uh, we got a tourist quarter deck. Okay. wonder what destroying items do. Is that all we got? Yeah, that's all we got. So that gave us a little bit more whole life. Okay. Not too bad. Nope. There's something over here. Can we get that if it's on the shore? Oh my god. What is going on here? Got another tourist something. Oh, nice. Extra armor and magic? I don't know what that symbol is. Hmm. I don't know. Either way, it's better than what we're using, so we'll do that. Uh, We've got some new cannons, too. Ancient cannons. Level three. Who's fighting over here? Oh, there's a traitor fighting. Something tells me this traitor is going to die. <laughs> is that the quest? Oh, yeah. Are you sure that ship went to the bottom of the ocean, or the bottom of the sea? Well, thank you. Even though I still feel a negative presence around. Okay. I did it! <laughs> nice. Fine by me. Okay, what did we get here? We got a whale figurehead. Our armor is not looking too bad, if I do say so myself. Okay. So, our logbook for our main quest, shopping list. Okay, so we gotta go north. Northeast, which is actually against the current. But that's fine. Okay, I suppose I should do some experimenting with uh, the different types of shot. Cartographer, you say? I love cartographers. How do I... Maybe I just have to get closer. There's some weird sound effects going on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> just ram into the damn thing. Okay. What are these weird sound effects going on right now? What a pleasure to meet you again. This area has no secrets for me. I can draw you a map of my findings for some gold. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll meet again at sea. Enjoy your exploring. Will do. Raise the anchor. Seriously, though, what is going on over here? ship that got taken out over there. Yeah, let's try out some of these other shot. Like, I think this one's for the, the sails. That could be interesting. Taking out the maneuverability of another ship uh, could be the thing that we need to do. A level 7 ship ahead of us. Get rescued. Level 7? Yeah, I don't really want to fight a level 7 ship here.
We'll stop in though. So I think you do have to be going a certain speed to really get into port. Yeah. Okay, so carpenter, 172 gold to repair. We got enough. Um, what do you have in your shop? Um, and can we sell our other stuff? Yes, we can. Okay, so the one with the green mark on it is the one that we have equipped, I assume? Yeah. Sell everything that we don't need. Okay. Oh, there's different bullets, too. Wow, there's a lot... There's a lot that we can get here. He is selling a crew. Poseidon crew. Hmm. Better crew might be good. Hmm. Sure. Why not? We'll equip that. Sell our old crew. Sorry, crew. <laughs> you understand. Uh, we do need better sales, but they're a little pricey here. Okay, let's check out the market. Uh, they produce a large amount of repair kits. We could take those uh, repair kits here and sell them at Eagle's Den. Wouldn't be too much of a difference, but... Okay, I like how it tells you the difference in price, too for what you bought them for. You can see on the uh, little gold coin there, there's a red arrow going down. It's pretty decent. Candies. Hmm. All right, uh, I think, yeah, my crew is good. Uh, yeah, I guess we're, guess we're done here. So we'll just keep heading north from here. We gotta be on the lookout. Oh, I was just gonna say, we gotta be on the lookout for, like, stuff on the shores and whatnot. Oh, jeez, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Ah! Oof. That was close. Give me a freaking break here, man. Get out of my way. Get away from me! What do you want? Yeah, we got three candies. Two rubies. We sell those anywhere, it's going to be a profit. Because we didn't pay for them. Can we interact with that sunken ship there? See that shipwreck, Lucky? If you stop in front of that sunken ship, you might find some beautiful treasures. Okay! Right next to the volcano. Oh my. Ooh, I think I know what sunk the ship. Let's get out of here. <laughs> well, let's, uh, not. What a pleasure to meet you again. This area has no secrets for me. I can draw you a map. Uh, for a thousand? Sure, why not? We'll meet again! Raise the anchor! Alright, so, how's our map looking now? Looking alright. Just gotta go straight east from there. Alright, 
port should be coming up here pretty soon. Oh, there's stuff. Give me the stuff. Chicken legs! And two rubies. Very nice. Yeah, I think stopping for a lot of this stuff is going to be uh, very necessary for us. Gold seems like it's very important. I'm not going to stop for absolutely everything, but if it's not super duper out of my way, then I, I probably will. We've made it. Those cannons are level 40. Remind me not to mess with the the cannons at these ports. We made it. I have a delivery. A load of wood. Excellent, excellent. You can't imagine how long I've been waiting for this. I would have bought it myself, but the merchant is unreliable, and he's always trying to cheat me on the price. Oh, what a jerk. Remember trade lesson number one. Goods can be an excellent source of income, but they don't have the same price in every port. Don't be fooled by the prices at the first market you visit. Join us at Eagle's Din now. We have something new in store for you. It's something you'll find very useful in battle. Useful in battle, you say? Consider it as a sort of birthday present. Of course it was my idea. Captain Morgan is not very good with presents. You should have seen what a disaster last Christmas was. Pirates celebrate Christmas? <laughs> Leroy, get back to work. Of course, uh, we're going to stop on into Turtle Sand here. Okay, let's visit the market here. Do we have anything that's worth selling? Our medicines. Nice. All right, made a little bit on the medicines. Considering we just found them, it's not too bad. Uh, how about the carpenter? Anything going on with the carpenter? Ooh, look at that. Hunter quarter deck. So what is that, magic? Voodoo? What, what, what stat is that? I don't know. I would like better, better ammo. Ooh, explosive barrel? Oh my. Yo, they got something called Tentacle Slam. Hold down the Jolly Roger. What is it? Pirate flag is replaced. The enemies will not recognize the player as hostile. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Explosive barrel. A large barrel is released in the ship's wake, causing hull damage and setting fire to any nearby ships. Could be very useful. And Tentacle Slam, a giant octopus is summoned from the depths of the sea and strikes the target enemy ship, causing damage to hull, sails, and crew. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. I'm gonna buy that. Yes. Now, how do we use that? That's on our circle button. Okay. Not bad. Alright, so we're just returning back to Eagle's Den now. Just heading this general direction. Another shipwreck here. I think you could actually see them jumping off of the ship to, to get over there. Next time we run into a shipwreck, I'll have to take a look at that. tourist ship here. Got some more candies. More medicines. We could actually turn around and sell these medicines. <laughs> Make a little bit of our money back. That level 3 plunder ship. I wouldn't mind fighting that. Oh, shit. Whoa, man.
Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I want to get in the middle of that. Let's just kind of hang out on the sides here. And whoever looks like they're going to lose, <laughs> we might take a pot shot at. I think this plunder ship is going to lose. Their sails already got messed up, but then again, this armory ship isn't looking too... Oh, Jesus. Armory ship's not looking too wonderful either. Go! Tentacle slam! I'm helping. Oh, they're down. I think the port is also pissed off at us. <laughs> but I want that stuff. Oh, plunder ships down too. Woo! Run! <laughs> oh. Must escape. Okay. <laughs> We're playing a very dangerous game. <laughs> Uh, what did we get? Swampy Hull. Uh, less to whatever that stat is. Magic? Voodoo? I, I don't know. Let's continue on. Yeah, Tentacle Slam did, uh, did a fair amount of damage. I think this was going to be a good... That's a good purchase. Got a traitor here. Jesus Christ. These plunder ships are getting messed up. Sails are messed up, bro. Now your crew's done. Missed. Oh, retreat, you say? Oh, you're done. You're done, son. <laughs> We're being so opportunistic, I love it. <laughs> oh, missed it. Kind of turn. Oh my word. These plunder ships are... Oh no! Ah! That was an explosive. Kits. Dang. Oh well. Let's go on. We'll uh, get a repair going at the uh, Eagle's Den. I'm digging the combat though so far. Feels pretty good. <laughs> yeah, you can see them jump off the ship. That's cool. <laughs> Either that or that's explosives we just launched out. I don't know. Ooh, a green item. Hitman hole. What do we have here? Just better. Yeah, just better in everything. I think it changes the look of our ship, too. 
Either that or our ship is just that damaged. I don't know. Uh, let's head back up. We gotta... We gotta go to Eagle's Den. I've been wasting enough time here. We're back. Surprise! We taught your crew's specialist how to build a flamethrower. I've trained him properly, and I'm almost sure he won't blow up your ship. Almost? <coughs> Flame Tide is a very useful skill. Equip it and use it wisely. It can completely change the fate of a fight. During your adventures, you'll come across specialists with unique abilities. They can be a great help during battles, so don't underestimate them. Yeah, I found a guy that can literally summon a giant octopus, so... Yeah, I would say it's pretty useful. Back to us now. We have a very important mission for you. You must escort a ship to its port of destination. Be careful not to lose it, and make sure you protect it from enemy attacks. What does it carry? Every artifact and scroll on voodoo magic that ever existed. We snatched them from Royal Navy ships, and they were going to destroy them, and we couldn't allow that. A port's governor offered to hide the cargo. She owed us a favor or two. Those voodoo artifacts will come in handy for our captains. Voodoo. The voodoo that you do! You would say. Okay, so this is our little fleet ship. What do we have here? He's, uh... There we go. Flame Tide. Flames emerge from the bow of the ship, causing damage per second to sails, crew, and hulls of any enemy ships that are hit. Not bad. We need to go into port, though, because I need to heal. Nice. Our ship is looking pretty cute. Okay, do we have anything new here? Uh, I could probably do with getting some better sails. sell the old one. Probably got some stuff that we could sell for a decent amount now. Uh, these cannons are actually better. Surprisingly. Oh, we got a trophy. Okay, anything else to sell? Yeah. We got our swampy hole and our tourist Hull. Uh, okay, we're looking good everywhere else. We got 2,000... 2,000 gold, huh? He's not selling anything better. Okay, how about our tavern? Lose some crew. Uh, we're only missing six crew. I think we're okay. This guy's got chicken legs and also some ancient cannons. I don't think I want to take on the, the Royal Navy just yet. Let's see. Do we have anything that's worth it to sell? We still have some wood. Sell that. The rubies. I've got four of them. Could get 500 out of it. I don't know if I just want to hold on to this stuff, though. Pelican eggs. I mean, this is all stuff I didn't purchase except for the rum. So really, the only thing that matters is the rum's price. So everything else I should be good to sell. Um, I'm going to hold on to the medicine just in case we go north again. Since it was more over there. But the rubies and stuff I'll sell. Same with the chicken legs there. Pelican eggs. We have a lot of pelican eggs. Yeah, sure, why not? I'll get more in-depth into the trading 
at another point. Um, but for now, I think that's good. I can only use one ability at a time. Oh, I missed it. Dang it. Alright. We're going north. Fortuitous. And away. How's this ability? Oh, yep, that's literally just a flamethrower. <laughs> okay. Nice. More rum, more rubies, some extra experience. Very nice. Now, can we... Here's another thing I wanted to check. Can we... We can blow those up. And I got experience for it. Okay. Good to know. Four repair kits, hell yeah. I think it's interesting that repair kits are not only used to heal, but uh, also used to uh, sell and trade. Not too many games I see that have their, uh, their health pickups used as a form of currency as well. moving with the tide. Interestingly. I think you can only be at like one sail's worth of speed to pick stuff up. Which is a little interesting. Oh no, I didn't mean it. But I guess we're doing this now. <laughs> My fleet ship, please. Got him. Fleet ship took a little bit of a lick there, but not too bad. really would rather not fight next to the uh, volcano going off, please. We did get some new bullets, which is what I wanted, which is pretty good. Alright, let's continue on, shall we? We need to fix our crew, too, when we get the chance. continue. I see that stuff over there to the left, but I just, I feel like if I go for that, I'm just going to end up getting distracted again, so let's, uh, let's not. Especially with our fleet ship already taking some damage here. Oh, that's a military ship. Oh, no. That's not good. Yeah, you didn't like that, did you? Gotcha. 
take that. Come on, give me the stuff. Yes. Very nice. Okay, we gotta find this place. Got a. What did that say? Voodoo beam? Yep. Brig ability, sloop ability. What? Magic beam is fired from the bow. The further it is from the enemy ship, the more damage to the hull it deals. It increases the chance of critical hit. Okay. I don't know what the difference is between brig ability and sloop ability, though. Silence. Interesting. Can we... Yeah, I can't equip that. Okay. I can equip silence. Enemy ships in the area are silenced, temporarily preventing abilities from activating. Interesting. So that's my triangle ability. Okay. Curious. Leave my ship alone, escort ship. Ya jerk! Alright, uh, yeah. We'll get a repair going here. Let's drop by the tavern. Let's get our crew back here. Mark it. Do we have anything? Anything worth selling here? Not really. They've got repair kits for relatively cheap. Yeah, we'll get some of those. Um, I guess raise the anchor. Gotta wait for our fleet ship to get over here and stop messing around with this escort ship. Come on. Figure it out. Nope. Nope. Oh my god, you're gonna die. <laughs> Come on. Come on. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Finally. Governor, Captain D. Morgan sends me. The ship loaded with forbidden artifacts is in port. I see. It arrived safe and sound. Don't worry, you can leave it to us. I assure you we'll keep it away from the Royal Navy site. Nice. Now there's one last thing you need to learn to become a true pirate. The art of looting. We'll have to raid a few merchant company ships. They always have a lot of gold on board, and they're easy prey. But aren't they our allies? The merchant company is our ally only for convenience. I suggest you check the map with the ports to find the settlements their ships are leaving. Just be careful of one thing. If you attack the ships near the, port, the ports, they will attack you back and prevent you from docking. And that will be a big problem for our business. If you attack them from a distance, they will return fire, but there will be no other consequences. As my granny used to say, what happens at open sea stays at open sea. Not too bad. But anyway, that is going to do it for that episode. If you guys liked it, feel free to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, so on and so forth. I'm really excited to continue playing this, and I hope you guys are too, and to watch. But anyway, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye bye